Welcome back to the Armory. Today we've got a Yugoslavian Mauser that I just got back from the gunsmith. And let's talk about this for a second. What we've got. I had the gunsmith install a nice Picatinny rail and re blew it and install a brand new barrel in 308 Winchester. And this is a nice Schillen precision barrel. It's 26 inches long. It's a little on the long side, but I'm okay with that. And this is just going to be a general purpose rifle. Nothing too special, just kind of one of those nice uh, uh, everyday kind of gun. And it's in 308. It's real easy to find ammunition for, real, real inexpensive to shoot. So I just got it back from the gunsmith. Let's take a look at the stock. So here's the stock that I got. Just a basic uh, sporter type stock. It's nicely inletted. Oh, the barrel channel's a little crooked. I'll have to address that. It's got a Pacific Tool Engage uh, bottom metal for a detachable magazine. And I've got detachable magazines. Oh. The way I received the stock, the PTNG bottom metal actually fit in without any additional inletting. So that was really a nice, pleasant surprise. I don't know how that uh, how that worked, but so here we are. Let's take a look at how the action sits in there. I already know we're going to have some interference with the barrel. And absolutely we do. So take a look at up here with the taper of the barrel, we're good. But up here, we're not so good. So we'll set this down nicely. We'll get a scribe and we'll see what the contour is that we're going to need to open up. So let's see what we see. So with some really faint scribing, you can see we got to take off just a little bit for about four inches or so and then we're going to need to square this uh, uh, right in here we're going to need to square this off so let me take care of that well with quite a lot of fitting we finally got the action to sit down nice we got plenty of barrel space i straightened up the barrel channel a little bit And there she sits, right down in the stock where she's supposed to be. All right. Okay, with this assembled, we run into a bit of a problem. And I bet you can see down inside here, there's a big gap between the receiver and the bottom metal. Now this is not something that happens too awfully common, but it is something you have to look out for in the first queue. The screws, this is a rear uh, action screw, it does not uh, grab the threads on the rear of the receiver. And the front action screw doesn't even engage the front. So I stuck this in here just to hold them together so we can look at this and you can see there's a pretty good gap between the receiver and the bottom metal. And it's even more evident if we stick a magazine in there, you can see the round is well below the bolt. So, a couple of fixes for this. Uh, basically, what we're going to do is we're going to recess the, the bottom metal. Um, and then we'll probably reprofile the bottom of the stock to match the bottom metal. But it looks like we've got quite a bit to take up. So let's get an idea of how much this is. By, we're going to take the action back out of the stock. Get a good idea how deep that is. We'll take the action out and see how much more that gap closes up with the action out of the stock. Okay, so basically like I was 
guessing that gap needs to be pretty much completely closed. So let's keep fitting. What we're going to do, we're going to open up this bottom channel and we're just going to recess the bottom metal all the way down into place. So we got a lot of work here, so better get started on it. All right, here's where I think we are. We've got this recessed down quite a bit. Got both screws started, so I think we're pretty much in the ballpark. And most importantly, if we if we try to cycle around, you can see that's where she lands. Feed lips are in a good location, and the bolt head picks up the round and chambers it nicely. So that. I think is just about correct. Okay, screws are down, screws are tight, rear screw is flush with the uh, the bolt race right there. Yep, I think we're well on our way. This is coming out really nice. So now we need to re-profile re re the bottom of this stock. I think I'm just going to gently reprofile it until it looks nice and leave it at that. So I'm going to bust out some of the uh, uh, some of my big rasps and start cutting. We'll see that here in just a little bit. Okay, here's the first pass. I've got it down just about right. I'm going to detail this back and try to blend it into the pistol grip a little bit. And I got about, oh, 16th of an inch, 32nd of an inch left to go around the trigger and just a touch around the front. So, time to start smoothing it out with sandpaper and getting it finished up. All right. I think I got it pretty nicely detailed. I got this blended just about right. So it's got a nice step down where the bottom metal is. It's nice and clear, no hang ups. And bolt cycles, picks up the round. I think we're just about done. So I'm going to get to uh, final finishing. And I think this project is pretty much done. So I do have to pick up a couple of parts for the bolt. Very long barrel. I have to pick up a couple of pieces for the bolt, finish the bolt out, and then we'll take it to the range, probably in a future video, and we'll see how she shoot how she shoots. I'm really hoping to have a very nice utility rifle out of this so let's get to final finishing all right well it's really really late tonight and i just finished sanding and prepping everything looks really good but it's getting a little too cold i think to uh break out the wood stain and the uh and the sealer so we'll have to save that for another day uh, I think we're done with this for the day. I think it turned out really nice. And we'll come back with a range trip next time we go to the range. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.